me to Addy, I pull up. They thought I was lacking, I stood up. Reloaded like Tony, I'm too much. I don't have it in me to give up. I won't ever stop cause I'm too clutch. You get in the way and get hit up. I go to the pump and I fill up. No drilling, just getting my skill up. Hey, send me. You know, I'm convinced the more things seem to be normal, the more things seem to be, uh, and notice I said seem to be, seem to be normal, seem to be laid back, and seem to be business as usual. I believe that's when we need to be paying attention the most because Jesus said that that day will sneak upon us unaware. That means people are going to be barbecuing, people are going to be partying, people are going to be sleeping with each other, people are going to be killing, people are going to be shooting, stealing. It's going to be business as usual. But then that day is going to suddenly arise like a travailing woman. I'm saying that to say this. Just because nothing has happened in a significant physical way does not mean that anything, nothing's happened happening in the spiritual realm. Things are happening in the spiritual realm, especially if you're walking with Christ, especially if you seem to be struggling, especially if you seem to not be getting over the things that you're struggling with. You have to understand, if you're a child of the Lord, you're going through things. You were chosen for battle. You got to remember, a light is something that demons want to block out. You ever pay attention to a stop meet to a uh, street light in your neighborhood and you see gnats flying around it? Well, that's how demons are when it comes to a light that God has given you and made you. They're trying to block your light out. But you have to fight for that light to stay burning, which means constantly study, constantly stay circumspect, constantly stay aware, and constantly keep yourself peculiar, keep yourself set apart, and to keep yourself humble. Now, just because you're walking with Christ doesn't make you better than anybody else. But the only difference between you and the world is that you know him that called you and they do not. They don't hear his voice. A lot of people will try to bring you down and say, oh, you think you're better than me? No, no, absolutely not. But one thing I'm trying to do is to better myself so that I can help you with the word of God. Because the Bible says it is not us that does the work, but it's Christ that is in us that does the work. So continue to push on. I'm rooting for you. The angels are rooting for you. And the most high is rooting for you. So continue to strive, continue to fight, and continue to battle. Because Paul said, I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. So you need to do the same thing. I guarantee you, you have a crown waiting on you if you endure it to the end. God bless. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most high done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it look like out here real quick, because I know y'all see that sun. You know what I mean? I know y'all see that sun. You know what I mean? And if y'all see that light, understand you got another opportunity to make it right. You got more grace, and it ain't never too late. You got more grace, and it ain't never too late, man. So make the changes necessary now. You know what I mean? Get close to the most high now. Change your life now. You know what I mean? Turn from wickedness now. You know, for the kingdom is at hand. You understand? Yeah, man, you know, it's Monday, just got a good workout in, you know, I feel good. Hopefully y'all got a good start to y'all day, you know, so we can set the tone for the week, you know what I mean? But, you know, I just want to tell y'all, man, y'all got to understand, bro, that Satan is working 24 hours, bro. Satan is definitely working 24 hours to try to get you to sin, try to get you to turn to wickedness, you know, turn back to darkness and turn away from the most high. Satan working 24 hours. So, you know, when you realize that, bro, it's like, man, it's like, yo, I can't take no days off. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as you get caught slipping, as soon as you think you know it all, you know, as soon as you, you know, start you know, slipping away from the word and not studying like you was, bruh. Like, listen, and you falling away. Listen, bro, Satan right there waiting for you because he never stopped working, but you did. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, bro, this, you know, this got to be a lifestyle for you. This journey got to be a lifestyle. Self-improvement got to be a lifestyle. You know what I mean? You know, uh, Getting close to the most high has to be a lifestyle. Spirituality, you know what I mean? Stand in the spirit. That has to be a lifestyle, bro. You know, it can't be something that you turn on and off, bro. Because as soon as you turn it off, bro, you know, it's kind of like you hitting a light switch. 
You know what I'm saying? Where you, you know, you got that light on, but you know, you turn as soon as you turn that light off, then that's where, you know, that's where the demons is like right there, bro. It's like pitch black. You know, if you ever seen the movie Pitch Black, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, and that's what you're dealing with out here, bro. And, you know, when you turn your own light off, when you turn the light off for the most high, you know, when you when you when you turn away from him and start falling away, then you falling back into darkness. You know what I'm saying? Right where them old habits is at, right where them demons is at, right where your past is at. You know what I mean? You know, right where low energy is at, bro. That's you hitting that light switch. So you got to do whatever it takes to keep this light on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no reason why we need to be dimming our light for anybody, anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, turning the darkness for anything. We have no reason to be there. You know what I'm saying? So we got to do whatever it takes to stay in this light. Because one thing that you know is that Satan is working. 24 hours to try to get you back in his arms, back under his wing. You know what I'm saying? Back around his demons, back, you know what I'm saying, to wickedness, bro. That's what he do. You know what I'm saying? That's what he do. And he trying to collect as many souls and bodies as, his, as he can because he know his time is running out. You know, so he working double time and we have to work double time too, bro. We can't think that we just got all of this time to do it you know we procrastinating you know what i'm saying not you know not into the word like we was you know what i'm saying not studying how we was you know what i mean not doing the things you know not locking in how we should be you know on the important things in our life bro you know what i'm saying you gotta understand bro a lot of those a lot of time when you do that bro you cutting that light off and you opening them doors for 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 you know darkness to creep back in you know what i'm saying and we don't need to do that, bro. Cause Satan using a lot of people that's around too, bro. That's, you know, that's empty vessels out here. You know, that's like literally just meat suits, you know, open, just, you know what I mean? Just, you know, anything could jump in them, bro. It's almost like you can't trust nobody either, bro. It's like you can't trust nobody. And, you know, that's why the most high give us discernment, you know what I mean? So we know how to, so we know how to, you know, move out here, bro. You know what I mean? That's why we need the mo the uh, the Hamashiach, bro. Because you know what I'm saying. That's how you know he he knew how to move out there because he knew it was a lot of snakes out there, people that wanted to see him. You know, uh, you know, wanted to see him down, wanted to see him dead. You know what I'm saying? Like he knew it was people that was hating on him. You know, even in his inner circle, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, like we deal with the same things over here. You know, but you can't walk in fear, bro. When you got that light on and you and, and and you know you got the most high with you, bro. You know what I mean? Listen, bro, it ain't no reason to be scared of nothing, bro. But the ones that's full of fear, them the ones that know they not living right. Them the ones that's falling away. You know, so you know, them the ones that's, you know, a part of the 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 world and, and indulging in all of these things, bro. So of course they gonna be scared. You know what I'm saying? But we definitely got to be fearless out here, bro. And how you be fearless is staying close to the most high, fearing the most high. And then that's going to be, that's the only, that's that's all you fear is the most high. You know, you're going to fear his judgment. So that will help you walk right. And it's going to make you uh, smarter, bro. It's going to make you wiser, you know, because fear of the most high is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you know how to move, man. And when you don't, fear the most high guess what bro like listen <laughs> you know you're not gonna be walking right you're not gonna be walking straight you're not gonna be living right you're not gonna be thinking right you know what i'm saying you're not gonna be moving right you know what i'm saying because you think there's no consequences for your actions you know what i'm saying and you're not paying attention that it's a lot of people that's suffering from the consequences and you you know when you don't fear the most high you just think you untouchable you think ain't nothing gonna happen to you you know i used to walk around like that you know what I'm saying? Thinking that I, you know, what's the what's the worst the worst that could happen? You know what I'm saying? And I'd be out here doing doing the worst. You know what I'm saying? They, and that's what you do when you don't have fear of the Most High. You're not fearing, you know, where you you know your soul. You're not fearing what what could happen to you, bro. You know, you're not fearing you're not fearing none of those none of those things, bro. You know, you don't understand that you just like in a deep, you know, you in a deep 
darkness, delusional type of state when you're walking around like that, bro. And, you know, I don't ever want to live like that again, you know, because I'm surprised I'm still alive, it's a, you know, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Like, man, how did I make it through all of that, bro? You know, the most high still watched over you. You know, he, he knew you was living in ignorance. You know what I'm saying? But now that you, you know, you woken up and you have fear of the most high and, you know, you want to do things that's right, you know, in his eyes, you know what I'm saying? Because you know that's what's going to better you. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to move different, bro. But, you know, you got to understand, bro. We got to put on that full armor, bro. We got to really put on that Ephesians 6, 11. Put on the full armor of the Most High so you can stand against the wiles of the devil, bro. And he got a lot of wiles out here, bro. He tricking people out of their freedom. He tricking people out of their health. He tricking people out of their salvation. You know what I'm saying? He tricking people in so many different ways with all of these snares that set up out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, all of these empty vessels that's out here, bro. He using everything, too. He crafty. You got to understand, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and how the whole system is set up out here, you know, with these elites and all of that. They using crafty counsel to set us up. Why you think all of this free porn is out here, bro? They using crafty counsel through this food. Why you think it's so many people unhealthy and addicted, you know what I'm saying, to fast food, addicted to the processed sugar. They using... You know what I'm saying? They using crafty counsel against you to get into your mind through these televisions. You know what I'm saying? Through the uh, social through social media. You know what I'm saying? Through the news, all of that. They using crafty counsel to trip you up, make you make you scared. They want you scared of them, not scared of the most high. Because when you scared of them, when you scared of this system and they and you allowing them to fear monger you, then guess what? They can easily control you. You know what I'm saying? And that's all demonic. That's why they want to control you. You know what I'm saying? That's why they want you as a robot out here. They using these phones to do it. They turning everybody into robots. You know, you can't get kids to participate in much. They not outside no more. Look at look at your neighborhood, bro. Look around your neighborhood, bro. You know, you got kids not even outside playing like we used to play. You know what I'm saying? The courts back when I was young, you know, when it was just a little bit nice outside, the basketball courts was full. You know, you had the car, all the cars, nice cars up there, drug dealers up there hooping, everybody outside, chicks outside, the little girls outside. You know what I mean? Football games in the field outside. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff, bro. You don't see that no more. Even in the schools, bro, the high schools, bro. You know, they having a tough time even getting kids to participate in school sports where I'm at. And I think it's everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they, they it's the programming, bro. They want us all, they want us all robots out here. They want us scared and they want to control us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the more you indulge in pornography, you know, you plugging into the matrix. They're controlling you. You know, the more that you unhealthy, you plugging into the matrix. They control you. The more you living in fear of them instead of the most high, you plugged in, you living in the matrix. They control you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Satan ain't Satan working all around the clock. So what make us think that we got all this time to just keep putting the most high off? You know what I'm saying? We got all this time to keep putting our salvation off, putting our health off, putting our goals and dreams off. What we putting the wheel of the most high off? I like why we think we got all this time. We got days to take off. And then you notice as soon as you get comfortable taking those days off. You know what I'm saying? That's when them urges hit you. That's when you relapse. That's when you eating bad. That's when you thinking bad. You know what I'm saying? That's when you turning back to old habits and you now you're picking up a blunt again, a cigarette again, a drink again. You know what I'm saying? You drinking up you 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 now you out and about again amongst the ungodly. You know, now you back on that broad path. See, that's what happened when you take days off. You want to break. Oh, I need a break. It's just you know what I'm saying? You coming up with an excuse to go out there and play in the dark. You coming up with an excuse to turn that light switch off. Boop. You, you see how quick that happened? As soon as you turn that light switch off, you was like you was out here. You know what I'm saying? You was doing good. You was getting your vitamins and nutrients. You was getting that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You was getting that wisdom. You was getting that. You was getting the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? 
You was getting all of the things that you needed to succeed, but then boom, you know, you didn't got comfortable again. You didn't got comfortable again, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and listen, bro, I'm talking to myself too. You know what I mean? Why you think I could explain it like that, bro? Because that's how it be. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the tricks of Satan, bro. We got we can't get lax out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't get lax out here, bro, because it's so easy, bro, to fall back into that old energy. Fall back into your old self, bro, and fall away from the most high, which you just don't want to do right now. You just don't want to play with it. You know what I'm saying? Why play with it, bro? That's what you got to ask yourself. Like, why play with it? Like, why play with it, bro? Because it ain't worth it. It ain't worth me risking my life. It ain't worth me risking my salvation. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth me risking my health. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth me risking the Holy Spirit, bro. It ain't. It ain't. So why why we got to play with it? Why we got to play with it? We need to we need to stop playing with it and stay with it. Don't play with it. Stay with it. Don't play with it. Stay with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Stay with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because over there, man, it's just not worth it, bro. On that broad path, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? That low energy, not worth it. That little bit of pleasure, not worth it. It never, it never is, bro. It never, it never is, bro. No matter what your mind telling you, bro, that Satan gonna try to trip you up, and he don't care, bro. He don't care when, man, when. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you know, Satan can be patient too. Just waiting on you to take a day off. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, bro, we just got to keep our foot on the gas, man. You know, that's it. You know, it's all about keeping your foot on the gas, man. You know, don't slow down for nothing, bro. Don't let the people slow you down because them be, you know, them be the ones that's getting used by Satan to try to slow you down and get you in them snares. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't living right. You know what I'm saying? So they want to... You know, they want to try to catch up with you, bro. Don't you understand people do that, bro? They try to catch up with you because they know, you know, they know you out here gaining, gaining, you know, traction out here. They know you out here, you know, moving accordingly, bro. You know what I'm saying? Moving in wisdom. And that's what the most high want us to do, bro. He want us to move in wisdom, not ignorance. We didn't moved in ignorance before, but we got to be smart and move in wisdom, bro. You know, we can no longer be careless like we used to be, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, you know, the Godfather said in that movie, bro. Women and children can be careless, but men's can't. You know, my football coach used to say that, bro. Women and children can, can be careless, but men can't, bro. We can't slip up like that. You know what I'm saying? Because when we slip up and trip up, bro, we pay for it. You know what I'm saying? We pay for it, bro. You know, so... You know, it's not worth it at the end of the day, man. So I just wanted to tell y'all that, share that message with y'all. Keep y'all foot on the gas. You know what I mean? Don't take no days off because you know Satan always lurking. You know what I'm saying? Stay stay under the most high's wing. You know what I'm saying? And continue to sing, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Continue to sing this word. You know, continue to sing this truth. You know what I mean? Continue to sing that wisdom, bruh. You know? Continue to sing in this light. You know, continue to sing on the path of righteousness. You know what I mean? Continue to sing that scripture. You know? Continue to sing with these blessings, bro. That's what we gonna do. You know what I mean? That's what we gotta do, bro. That ain't what we gonna do. That's what we gotta do, bro. We ain't got no choice, man. You know what I mean? Giving up is not an option. It can't be. You know what I'm saying? That can't be an option for us. Quitting cannot be an option. That cannot be on the table. You know what I'm saying? It just can't be. You know, so no matter what it is you're going through, get back up, keep going. You know what I mean? Keep going. Keep getting stronger. Keep getting smarter. Keep learning. You know, keep growing. Keep striving. You know what I mean? Because we ain't trying to do no diving. Keep striving because we ain't trying to do no diving, bro. We is not trying to take no L's out here. We are not trying to sink out here, bro. We seeing it happen too often. So keep on going in this walk, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Sin. It's Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.